Whether you're a beginner or longtime Android user, I'll show you the Android settings you should change to improve your battery life, get better performance, and to give you more control over your privacy and security, along with other settings to enhance your overall experience. Coming up next on Tech Combo. To begin, let's open settings. To get there, swipe down from the top of your screen twice. Then look for the settings icon in the lower right. I'll be showing you these on a phone running stock Android. Depending on the manufacturer of your phone, some of these settings may be in a different place. So for some of you, it might be easier to search for the settings using the search bar here at the top. All right, let's jump into it. If you want your phone to be mostly silent while sleeping, or at any other time to stop it from ringing, buzzing, or beeping, you'll want to enable and set up Do Not Disturb. To get there, go to Notifications, scroll down, and in the General section, select Do Not Disturb. Tap on Turn On Now. To set a schedule to designate the hours it's active, go to Schedules. For example, while sleeping, check the box next to Sleeping. I also have it set to turn on while gaming and when the phone's flipped over on its front. To designate the hours while sleeping, tap the settings icon to the right. Enable, use schedule, then select the days you want it active, followed by the start time and the end time. For the remainder of these in settings, we'll start here on the settings home screen. Having a phone with terrible battery life can be irritating, one way to extend the battery life is to enable adaptive battery. So for this one, go to battery. Almost all phones have an adaptive battery feature or some other battery optimization feature that helps to improve the battery life. On this phone, we're looking for adaptive battery. So tap on adaptive preferences. On this screen, turn on adaptive battery to increase the battery life. Also turn on adaptive charging to help extend the long-term health of your battery. Another way to extend your battery life is to lower the brightness of your screen and to disable adaptive brightness. To find it, go to display. The brighter your screen is, the more battery power it will use. First, turn off adaptive brightness. On some phones, it's called auto screen brightness. Then tap on brightness level and move the slider here at the top to less than 50%. And you'll see here, it just changed the brightness to 46%. Enabling a dark theme is not only easier on your eyes, it can also help to improve battery life. For the past couple of years, most Android phones released have had a dedicated dark theme. To enable dark theme, go to display. In appearance, turn on dark theme. On other phones, it may be called dark mode and on Samsung phones, they call it night mode. Losing your phone can be a frustrating experience. To reduce the stress of losing your phone, I recommend enabling Find My Device. Samsung phones have a similar feature, which they call Find My Mobile. Go to Security. On this phone, it's called Find My Device, so I'll tap on that. Turn on Use Find My Device. Doing so will help you to find, lock, or reset your device if it's lost. If you have another Android device, you can use the Find My Device app from the Google Play Store to find it or if logged into your Google account, you can find it using their website. They'll have the options to play a sound to locate it, lock the device, and you can erase all the content from your device if you feel you won't be getting it back. Links to both the app and the site are in the description to this video. While precise location tracking can be useful for finding local information or getting better directions, you may not feel comfortable giving your exact location to certain apps. Thankfully, on an app-by-app -app basis, you can disable precise location tracking. Go to Location, tap on App Location Permissions. You'll see those with permissions separated into two categories, Allowed All the Time and Allowed Only While in Use. Now select an app, then turn off Use Precise Location. With it turned off, that app will only have access to your approximate location. With ride-hailing apps like Uber and Lyft and navigation apps like Google Maps and Waze, it's best to leave this turned on. If you're looking for another way to reduce battery usage, disabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning can help. For this, we'll go back to Location, select Location Services. Here at the bottom, you'll see both Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. 
Even if you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth disabled, the scanning will still be on in the background for improved location accuracy. For improved battery life, go into each of these and turn them off. Your phone may periodically send diagnostic and usage data to Google. They claim the information is anonymous and will help in making improvements to the operating system, apps, and hardware. This data also gets shared with its partners, such as Android developers. If you want to turn this off, go to Google, tap on the three-dot menu in the upper right, and select Usage and Diagnostics. If enabled, tap on the toggle to disable it. This one is for those of you that are tired of seeing the same ads on websites and apps that use Google's ad platform. For example, you might do a search for waffle makers and then afterwards start seeing tons of ads for waffle makers. If you don't like that or it creeps you out, go to Google, then select ads. If you're on Android 12 or newer, select delete advertising ID. On older versions of Android, you might see something that says opt out of ads personalization or toggle to turn on or off ads personalization. You'll still see ads on the sites and apps that you use, but they won't be based on your interests or personal data. Hopefully nothing ever goes wrong with your phone, but if it does, you'll wish you had automatic backup enabled to retrieve your contacts, messages, photos, videos, and other stuff. To enable automatic backup, go to system then tap on Backup. Here you should see Backup to Google Drive or Backup by Google One. If turned off, toggle the switch to turn it on. For the next couple of settings, we'll be working with the Developer Options. Go to System. Near the bottom of this list, if you see Developer Options listed, you're good to go. If you don't see it, let's go back to the Settings home screen to enable it. Near the bottom of the screen, select About Phone. Then at the very bottom where you see build number, tap on it seven times to enable developer options. If already enabled, you'll get the message that says, no need, you are already a developer. If you have a phone with a low amount of system RAM that feels sluggish when using it, setting a background process limit might be useful for you to speed it up. Go to system, then select developer options. For this one, you'll want to scroll down and around three quarters of the way, you'll want to look for a section called apps. And there it is. Tap on background process limit. You may have to experiment with this one to find the setting that works best for you. The default is standard limit. Your other choices are no background processes all the way up to four. If you're a privacy-minded person, being able to turn off all the sensors on your phone with a single tap might be of interest to you. Once again, let's go to System, and then tap on Developer Options. From the top, scroll down a little bit, and select Quick Settings Developer Tiles. Toggle the switch on for Sensors Off. When tapped on in your Quick Settings, this will disable all the hardware sensors, including your microphone, camera, accelerometer, GPS, and a whole lot more. In the next section, I'll show you how to add this to your Quick Settings. If you want to add a quick tile to your quick settings panel, swipe down twice from the top, select the edit icon in the lower left. For example, in the previous tip, I showed you how to enable the sensors off tile. If it is not automatically added to your quick settings panel, go find it among those that can be added. And here it is at the bottom of the screen. Hold down on it and drag it to the top section. With it in your quick settings, you'll be able to turn off all your sensors with one tap. Whenever you install a new app from the Play Store, it will automatically add a shortcut to your home screen. Not all apps are important enough to take up space on the home screen, especially those that are not used very often. If this feature annoys you, you can stop this by long pressing on an open space on your home screen and selecting Home Settings. Then toggle the switch off or add app icons to home screen. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What settings do you change when you get a new Android phone? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and tap that bell for the latest on Android and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.